not again. Please, settle down. You'd like to see my ass? Well, I guess I have time to give you a quick look. Hello, it's your dad. Heroes. Please go ahead and uh, touch that subscribe button for me. So, in my last video, where I made my plus 10 crom, I said my rerun got me into tier 20. It actually didn't. But I did go back and made sure I got through. So, yeah, I did that. But anyways, this is not a follow-up on that. I just wanted to state that real quick. Um, in case you did not know, but maybe you do know, maybe you don't know, in the recent update, there was a change to the tap battles. And it allows you to increase the speed to three times. This also increases the window of the area that you can attack enemies. I feel like you can hit them halfway across the screen and even when they get way past the red box. But yeah, this video is also not just to inform you that change, it's to talk about an exploit that this kind of opens up. A while back on a different channel I made a video about how to farm hero merit using tap battles. Uh, it was actually meant to be a joke because I used a fan and touchscreen pen tips to do it. The strategy didn't actually work reliably. The fan could run out of batteries, the contraption could move slightly and it makes it miss the button. There were lots of things that could go wrong with it, so it was really just meant to be silly, but it turns out it actually became inspiration for something that could work. So after that video came out, someone that I don't actually know and who definitely is not me and asked me not to use their name showed me a better way that you can farm hero merits in a kind of similar fashion. I didn't make a video on it at the time because even if you do get it to work, it's not a lot of feather yield, so it wasn't really worth it to me. But now that you can increase the speed of the tap battles by three times the speed, it's a little bit more viable. Another thing I was worried about at the time was whether it was against the rules or not, I looked at the user agreement and I didn't really see anything that's like, you know, hey, don't use a script, or... But, at the moment, I'm not doing it, and I'm not endorsing it, I'm just kind of showing you a video that someone sent me of them using the strategy. Alright, so this strategy uses SideSync. It's an app you can get on your phone and desktop, and it lets you use your phone on your computer screen, and it's actually what I used to record what I do because I don't have a better way to do it but if you pull that up link your phone to your screen or link your phone to your computer you can run a script on your computer that clicks the mouse at every constant time interval and that's it if you aim the mouse at the middle of the button on tap battles it after it beats the level for you it hits retry stage automatically and it keeps looping so if you had another phone, you could do this while you're AFK, you, you could do this while you're at school, or at church, or work or something. It takes about 52 seconds per loop, and you get pretty much 8 feathers each time it does it. So that comes out to about 550 feathers per hour. And if you did it for half a day, you'd get about 6.6 thousand feathers. You could think about it this way, it takes 36 hours to get 20 thousand feathers. It might seem pretty inefficient, but if you think about it, it's AFK, and it's kind of like every couple of days you get a free promotion from 4 to 5 star. But yeah, like I said, it's not like I use this or plan to, or even know how to write the script to do it, but I just kind of want to know what do you guys think. Does it break the rules of the game, in your opinion, or is there some rule that I kind of missed when I was looking over it? The user agreement 3.5 does state that we may suspend, modify, or terminate all or a portion of the application without notice or liability to you. I think that rule kind of covers them if they didn't want you to do something. So <laughs> I guess even if it doesn't say you cannot use scripts, they could still suspend an account for doing it. So just kind of wondering, have any of you guys done something similar to this? And what kind of experience have you had? Do you know anyone's gotten banned? Have you gotten banned? Should I worry about, I mean, it's not, I'm not going to do it, you know. But anyways, that's enough questions from me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you. Clothing from other lands is so often different from what I'm used to. Oh, I don't mean to say I don't like it. Mm.